Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Welcome back to the channel. We had just finished watching Dr. Stone New World episode 19. And I feel like we asked this every other week, but was this their best episode of this season? Gee, honestly, yes. It feels like it. Hey, Amen. We say it all the time. What a time to be an anime fan. But as he just said, what a time to be a Dr. Stone fan. They just dropped probably their best episode. Yeah, it was like, I mean, I said it towards the end. Uh, make sure you guys follow us on TikTok and Instagram and all of our socials. The link will be in the description so you can see those clips from the episode. But yes, sir. this episode felt like a season finale. Now, I'm pretty sure the season's not over yet. Yeah. But this felt like a good-ass finale. At least climax finale. Yeah. And boy, was it special. Giannis, I mean... He got fucked over in the end, but at the same time, he was going against the smartest anime character. Mm -hmm. I guess for a Stone Age nigga, he's probably the smartest. Absolutely. That's not even a question. The what the plays I mean, he was making? Wow. Like, that nigga literally practiced how to fight the beam off. I thought it was over at that point when Sanku threw that hole. Or when he uh Yeah, when they threw that bitch. Yeah. Like he took his hat to off and smacked the bean bag. I know, like that's that's wicked. That's wicked, especially to have precision in that moment. But shout out to Ryusi too because that was a big time play too, a sacrifice too. But for him to immediately know to catch the beam and move forward so Senku's out of range of it, wow! And it's put the earring on it so that he can make that final play. Mm hmm. Like, yeah, with the airing too. Yeah, like that that was like probably the play of the episode, low key. It definitely was. And the second one would probably have to be Senku dishing the side pass at re at that nigga in the first place. Mm -hmm. Smacking him with the revival fluid off yeah. the no look pass. Like he literally no look pass that like that's literally it's literally Giannis versus Braun. Yeah. Braun is the smartest NBA player in the league and he be throwing no looks like it's nothing. Mm hmm. That is and he also finishes the alley oops that his teammates throws to him. Mm hmm. Shit. Down Shit. goes Jokic. Yeah, and it took the whole team. I mean, I kind of thought they were just posing, and it would have been fire. I mean, we could just say they posed because that shit was hard, but was hard. they weren't. They were setting up a lob of half court. Mm hmm. And shout out to Chrome for that big, big brain play. Like, yeah. I didn't know what the fuck that nigga plan was. Like, I, I'm right there with you. I thought they were posing. So I'm like, where's the plan at, my nigga? Like, like, mm -hmm. are you going to... Like, I thought the plan was just somehow keep Sanku alive, maybe figure it out, and then just he's going to revive everybody. Like, that's kind of where I thought it was. But that nigga's yeah. plan, like... Because then the question was, how is how does Sanku not get petrified? That nigga's whole plan was for Sanku not to get petrified. And even just for how Senku went about it, for him to, first thing first, I mean, he did say he had thousands of years of practice, but even with that, for him to accurately do the countdown, throw that bitch up, right, and now we saw the counter to the petrification beam, for it to work so smoothly is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, to make those calculations with those type of numbers that quick in your head with that type of pressure. If you mess up that calculation, he said if he throws it too late, then he's going to get petrified before he can throw it. If he throws it too early, it's not going to work because he's going to get petrified after. Mm -hmm. Like, to make that calculation that pinpoint accurate in that moment where it's life or death. Yeah. Like, it's no question who the smartest anime character is. He it isn't, it. but... It isn't, but I guess the question would be is knowing, because like you said, it felt like the season finale just ended, but realistically, it's still at least two or three more episodes yeah. left, but the climax definitely ended, so just off of that, who impressed you more throughout season two between Maz and Giannis? And off rip, the answer is Giannis, but why? Like, and how much of a gap is it, if it is Giannis? Because Maz was on timing. 
Maz was on timing, but Giannis definitely impressed me more just off of the fact that he was like Maz was smart, but Giannis was beyond smart. Like even yeah. looking at this last episode we just watched, he gave Sanku a run for his money. Like yeah, he he literally gave him a run for her money all the way down to the buzzer beater. And it wasn't just physical. It was, he was he was giving him a run for his money with his brain and physicals together. Like and I think that's the biggest thing too, the physical aspect because on one hand when you include the physical aspect, ooh, low key Moss just might be a little bit more impressive because physically he was yeah, one man sure. army and shit. And yeah. you could say that made up for the difference in gaps that Ibarra has on him with the whole brain part, but then you swing you swing it back to Jokic like he got shot and hit by a fucking van, and it seemed like he was perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. I didn't even realize he was that much of a specimen, but he did say he used to be an athlete. Yeah, like the nigga got ran over and yeah. just vanished, and then blindsided this nigga like Bobby Boucher, like yeah. The nigga literally got up, was walking fine. He literally walked the nigga down afterwards after getting hit by a van. That's he literally down like Michael too. you get. I, I was about to you called him Michael Myers. That is literally some Michael Myers shit. He got shot. He got ran over and was perfectly fine and walked that nigga down. That's Michael Myers. While that nigga was running away too, like that shit was hard. That shit was hard. But overall, this episode was hard too. Like. Just seeing the whole finale, if you will, and climax coming together. I know the answer is pretty simple, most likely a 10. Yeah. But even with that, why would you rate it that? I would rate it a 10 because I knew, like, we all knew Senku was going to win somehow. But yeah, the plays that were being made back to back to back to back to back in this episode... I didn't see a damn one of them coming. Like, and that's that's a common theme throughout Doctor Stone, but it was different in this episode because it was happening so consistently from both sides, not just Senku. Usually, Senku's the one making all the plays for the most part. It was both yeah. sides in a one v one for the mo- until the end, of course, when Ryusi got revived. But for the most part, it was. And then looking at how Senku revived himself. Really shone like it shined the light on the the rest of the kingdom of science and how on timing they were with that plan, like yeah. This this episode was fans fucking tastic, bro. It really was. Like I'm gonna be honest, I didn't realize they were going against such a worthy adversary. Like I kind of just looked at them as overrated, if you will. I thought the Medusa was really all that they had going for them. Ibarra's a problem with or without the Medusa just because of the timing he was on. Same with Maz. And this episode really highlighted that for me. Like, it was really true to the last man standing. And it was really amazing to see. And like you said, too, like, seeing the kingdom on... Like, it's one thing when everyone's on the same timing. It's another thing when no words are being spoken and everyone's on the same timing. Mm -hmm. And most of it was just blind faith, but... It was faith placed in the right place. Like, I think this episode was fantastic, like you said. Hell yeah, but hey man. Let us know what y'all thought about this episode. I personally think this was the best one, at least this season. You know by far. I don't want to say by far, but it was. It, it was, it was. But uh, let us know what you thought about it in the comments, you know what I'm saying? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button for us. We really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the big yes, red man. subscribe button as well. And turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of Dr. Stone or any other other videos. We drop straight bangers over here, you feel me? All anime content, so make sure you tap in with us, you feel me? Yes, sir, yes, sir. With that being said, make sure you guys click on our description as well. Two links will be waiting for you. One will take you to all of our socials, Sons of Tokyo, on every platform. The other one will take you to our Discord. Make sure you guys come on, in. come on in. You know what I'm saying? Jo- join that vibe out with us. Talk about anything, anime, not anime, don't matter. But uh, yeah, man. With that being said, S O T out.